hello everyone in this video we will see the how to add the mode controls on the azure map so this video is the continue of the previous two videos what we have created so in the previous video what we have done is we have added one command control on the account main form and main grid account main grid and on the click of this one uh, it loads uh, one uh, html web resource so this is it this HTML web resource is getting loaded and this loads the map into that div con class so this is the HTML file of which is loading in that web resource it is having one div as a I with ID my map which is having width and I height as equals to 100% so that is why this map loads in the 100% width and height of the screen of the window and once it is loaded then behind that there is javascript which do the authorizations and all so this javascript we have developed as per the last video is this one where we are having the uh, one open map handler function which which it is which is registered to click on this uh, uh, button and on the click of that that but function we are calling and this function it will open this uh, web resource into the new uh, browser window and uh, when it is open then it loads this web resource this javascript and inside that we are having the some variables defined like the the in the last video we have added the legend control so that is why we can see this is the legend control we developed in the last video so it is like that so the latest code of this video you can find in the description box the link will be there you can download the latest code for from there for your reference so what I have done for in this video is that I have I have uh, I have modified the new app uh, since in the last video I have used the customer service app so I have modified the field service app here in this uh, video and inside the field service app we are having the uh, one entity called the customer asset and on this customer asset or assets entity records uh, we have i have added the same same command button how i did for the account one so it is similar to that and this is also uh, pointing to the same function this function only which opens the same question basically what i want is i want to open the same map same map controls but not from account but from the field service app and from the asset because in the next video we will be using the record of the assets to display the beans on the map so that is why i thought of using this app for the demo and here i have added the button so when i click on this one it opens into the new tab of the browser and it loads the map so uh, now in this video we will try to add the some more controls example uh, the zoom controls we can add there will be pitching controls and uh, uh, what are different types of map we have those those things we can add so before we go to add that one let's see what are the things we have so here in the when we add the map con sorry the styles of the map what different type of uh, maps uh, styles we have so here is the reference on the map style so uh, we can add few of the map style into the map and we can see example uh, satellite style it will look like this and then the satellite road road labels it will look like this gray scale dark it will look like this uh, gray scale light it will look like this so few of the now this uh, map styles we will add and we'll see how it will work so let's start modifying this javascript file so here this is the load map function which is the main function when it, it is getting loaded as soon as the html body is getting loaded you can see from here this function will get loaded and this when this is called then we are creating the map here and then we are adding the map to my map div and inside that uh, there is one add legend control function which we have developed in the previous video and this legend function will add the legends which what we see here in this two here so these two legends we have developed right so it is coming from this function so let's modify the another function here or like this function uh, to add the few more controls so first of all we add the new control uh, first one is the different type of map style so let's add it where we can call it as a style map and this will be the new atlas dot control dot this is called the style control 
and uh, here inside this style control we have the object and we have to set it that is called the map styles and what are the different styles we can set we have to pass this inside this array so I'm taking one of the example here uh, one I will take the gray light this map style then I will take the road type map style then I can take the gray uh, which one I can use I will take uh, let's take this one high con constant dark and uh, uh, mostly we can add the satellite type also okay so let's few of them we have added okay and there is a popular one we can use the night type which is also being mostly used or uh, grayscale dark also it is being used we can add that also so and there's another type is uh, dark uh, sorry night road satellite dark this is night type satellite so i will add sorry as map so i'll add it so this is the uh, style and let's we have to add this style into the map so for that so what we have to do we have to use one event on the map so it's called the map ready event so let's add that one so map dot events dot add and when it is ready then we will call this function and inside this function we will be writing when the map is loaded and it is ready to use then we will create these variables and then we will add it to the map okay so let's add it map dot controls dot add and that will be the style map and the position of the uh, where it should display since in the uh, in the in the in the last video we have added the legends control position on the uh, uh, left side in the top so this is defined through this variable top left so I will use this position so position then map control position so it is done so let's add this one and see we will, I have saved it and after this one uh, we'll see if this is getting added there so I have saved this file I'll go to the my uh, make.powerapps.com to my solution where I have this web resource so this is my web resource JavaScript web resource I will update it this is my JavaScript file select and save and publish this once this will be published it is published I will refresh this one this map and we'll see if this is added here okay you can see a small icon has been displayed and these are different type of map styles so here we what are the controls what are different type of map styles we have added those list we can see and when you click on this one the it will show the this one different type of style on the map dark it is grayscale light to display like this so different type of style on the map we can add now let's add the pitch control here below so to do that same thing below we'll add the map dot controls dot add and new atlas dot control dot pitch control and here uh, we will take the position this it will have the pitch control and the position of this pitch control will be the same position so position map control position we'll add the one more control we call it uh, uh, the zoom control so controls dot add new atlas dot control dot zoom control and the position of this zoom control is same map position so I'm going to save it and, uh, and update this file in the JavaScript file okay I'm saving the file saved I'm publishing it again once it will be published I will refresh this HTML file again So 
here we'll see if it in yeah you can see the pitch control has been loaded so this pitch control can be used to make this pitching on the map up and down and then there's a zoom controls you can we can zoom to the map using this control okay so there is one more thing i want to add in this video is that the zoom out we can limit it example if you want to uh, zoom out you can see currently i can zoom out to all the way to the map right all through that but in some time in the real time we want to limit the zoom basically we will bound the map to not zoom out more than that so example for country india i want i do not want to zoom out more than that so that i cannot see i cannot allow users to zoom out more than india map and so that they they're back because those things are useless to them in the real time so they have to work within that region right so we will limit the map for particular bound so for that we call this as a bounding box in the azure map so here to add the bonding bonding box to the a particular country or that one so already there is a list of this one uh, bonding box coordinate so for india and this is the bonding box coordinate here this is the bonding box coordinate so i'll copy this bonding box this url also i'll put in my description box you can uh, click there and you can see the list of the bonding box for the different uh, countries so this bonding box i will define to one of the variable in the javascript file so i'm going to add here where bonding box india and that will be the coordinates okay so this is different on this bonding box we have to set it when the map is getting loaded so when this map is getting created let's add that is max bound bounds and that will be the uh, bonding box of india so once we have added this max bound control on this map when it is loaded so then we'll see how it will work so i'm going to update this javascript file again going to publish this okay i'm going to refresh this map okay so now i'll try to zoom out and i'll see now now you can see the map has been limited i cannot further zoom out from here i can zoom in but i cannot zoom out you can see so this is how you can uh, put the bounding box on the particular country if you want to limit your map to zoom out so this is how a uh, few of the controls you can add to the map i hope uh, this video was useful to you and uh, you can utilize these few components on the map so thank you for watching this video guys